happy Thursday. It's Mrs. Ellis. So, just as I said yesterday, we're going to continue to talk about time. And yesterday we talked about all the time that I had, that was to old clock. The mini hand was on the 12, and then the only hand that moved was the hour hand. Right? It was really easy. Well, today, some of the clocks might say old clock with that mini hand on the 12, and some might tell us a half an hour. So we learned about fractions. And what shape is this clock? Yeah, it's a circle. So half would be when the big hand goes from being at the 12 to going all the way in half to the six. Every one of these big numbers we can count by five to figure out when the big hand is on the six, how many minutes it is. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. When it's half way around the clock, 30 minutes have passed. We can say that is half an hour because there's 60 minutes in an hour and 30 is half of 60. So today, we're going to learn and tell time to the nearest hour or half hour. Let's get started. I want to tell you all about my Saturday. But before I do, listen, I've just got to say. Oh boy. When 
the hour, hands on a number, and the minute hands up. We know it's so clock when the red was sore as up. If the hour hands right between two numbers per se, it's half past the hour of 3.30 that day. With the long minute hand that represents the minutes go by, it's easy to tell time and to soon see. Why? Each number on the clock is five minutes in it. If you skip count by five, you tell the time to get split. We went to the movies and they bought us two tickets. The movie we went to see started right at six. The hour hand was at six. The minute hand pointed up. She said, Are we almost late? And I was like, yep, oh yeah. When we finally got a seat, she told me I was cute. But I'd eaten beans for lunch and let out a loud tooth. <laughs> no, 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 no. 12, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. 6, 37, 38, 39, 30, 10, 30, 11, 30. On the way home, we walked by the fish and dock. We looked up and saw that it was now eight o'clock. The minute hand pointed up the hour hand at the eight. She said, I'm supposed to be home by now. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, no, no. So we went off in a hurry, hurry. We ran, we bounded to get Lexi home fast so she wouldn't be grounded. Oh, yeah, yeah. When the hour hands on a number pointing on a number, that is the hour, two. When the big hand is pointing up, that means o'clock. So this time says two o'clock. And when that minute hand goes around and it's pointing down at the six, it went halfway around the clock. It's 30 minutes. It is, yes. Notice the hour hand. It's between the two and the three. So is it 2.30 or 3.30? Well, did we get to three yet? No, it's still in between the two. It's not at the three yet. So that means it's still in the two o'clock hour. So that means it is 2.30. Another way of saying 2.30 is half past two. You say it. Yes, it's 2.30 or half past two. Great, let's use that to see if we can answer these next questions. Write the time shown on each clock. Complete the problems like the first two examples. This is between the three and the four. So that means, well, it's not on the four yet. It's still three and it's on the six, that means 30, it's three. 30, just like they did for us. This says 5.30, so they wrote the, word, wrote the words 5.30. Hmm, look at this one. It's between the 11 and the 12. So that means it's, it's 11, but it, is it 12 o'clock yet? It's not 12 o'clock yet. So if it's not on the 12, so that means it's still 11, okay? So the hour is 11. 
And when that minute hand is on the six, we're going to go clockwise. Thanks for your help. Yeah, when that minute hand is on the six, it means 30. 12, 30. Let me help you write that. 12. And, the, oh. and there's a sneaky B at the end. Okay. 30, we know how to spell that because he says it right up here. Thir T. Nice. Hmm. Let's see if you can tell what time this says. The hour hand is on the and what happened when the minute hand is on? You got it. Two o'clock. When you write o'clock, it's zero zero. Oh, this is tricky. It's between the 8 and the 9. Is it 9 o'clock? You should have wrote 8 30. All right, let's keep going. Right, what time this clock says? Go ahead and think about all the times. And then I'm going to go ahead and write the answers for you in a second. Right here, it's not on the 11 yet, so you should have wrote 10, oh, 30, 30, 30, on this one, it's between 6 and 7, it's not 7 yet, it's 6, and then that minute hand is on the 6, and I know when it's on the 6, that means 30, it's so easy, you should have wrote 7, o'clock, and then for this one, you gotta write it in words. Seven. Thirty. All right. Between the four and the five, are we positive? Or is it still four? And we say, or it means a half hand, the other hand is on the six, which means it's half past four or early. Ten thirty. Oh, you guys are getting really good with time. Circle the clock that shows half past twelve. Half past twelve. If it's half past the twelve, it means it needs to be past the twelve. Is it past the twelve here? No, it's past the eleven. So that's eleven thirty. Is it past the twelve here? No, it's past the eleven. Half past twelve. It's halfway past the twelve and almost at the one. So this one is twelve. Is it ticket time? All right. It says, write the time shown on each clock to tell about Leroy's day. Hmm. So you need to write, what time did Leroy wake up? What time did he take the bus to school? What time does he have math? And what time does he eat lunch? Remember, when the big hand's at the top, it means o'clock. When the middle hand, I mean the minute hand or the big hand is pointing down to the six, that means 30. Do not get tricked. I can't wait to see who gets this right. Bye, Kipsis.